It's like how fat people eat. You know what I mean? Go on. Like, remember when we were kids? It was like a candy bar was a candy bar. Ice cream was ice cream. You never had the unholy matrimony, the two of them. But fat people late at night were doing that shit. You know who you are. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> and these big companies found out about it, and they started doing it and never gave these fatties credit. And they're not going to come waddling out going, hey, I came up with that shit. There's yeah. too much shame involved. But they're the ones who did it. Because I had a fat roommate... And the deal with a fat roommate is during the day, you watch them eat. You're like, how the fuck is this person fat? But after midnight, all the questions are answered. You start hearing sounds. Is there a raccoon in the house? What is going on? And one day you have the balls to go down there. And they fucking look up from this bowl of slop. You don't even know what it is. I mean, I would rather walk in on a murder than walk in on a clinically obese person at two in the morning. Look at Phil. Phil's gonna lose. Phil's gonna lose his mustache on that one. You know what? You know why that was funny? That's a fucking true story. It's a true story. It's a fucking. I had a buddy of mine. He said to me one time. I, I told him I got a pint of ice cream. This fat fuck. I told this fatty that I had a pint of ice cream. Right? What do he do? And he goes like, Oh yeah, I love, I love fucking buyers. He goes, You ever just leave it out for a couple hours and let it melt and then just drink it like a shake? Oh my god. Yeah, and that's what I did. I went like. No. And then, and, then, and then he tried to play it off like, yeah, me neither. Me neither. It's like, you fucking do that shit. That's why you're so fat, your metabolism. This guy's doing Jaeger shots with fucking Ben and Jerry's. It does sound delicious. 